I love how each one of those stories shows how imagination, persistence, and the right tools can change lives. And we're just scratching the surface of what developers are creating. The tools and platforms we have been building underpin the creation of so much more than just gaming. Joining me now is Andre Schmidt from Be My Eyes, a team reimagining accessibility with technology. And we've managed to get a hold of a clip. Let's check out a quick video about Be My Eyes. Hey, Meta. Call a volunteer with Be My Eyes. Calling a volunteer. Hey there, how can I help? Hi, I just got a new record player and I wanted to see if you could help me figure out which of these buttons turns it on. Absolutely, I think it's the one on the bottom. Try that. This one here? Yeah, that's it. Perfect, thank you. Andre, for those new to your work, can you give me the nickel tour of what Be My Eyes is all about? Yeah, sure. Be My Eyes is a global platform connecting blind or uh, low vision users with sighted volunteers all around the globe. Uh, that allows the sighted volunteers to see either through the phone camera mm -hmm. or through the uh, Meta AI glasses, depending on what you're using. Mm -hmm. um, and that allows the volunteer to help out with uh, various tasks such as reading the expiry date on a, on a milk or finding lost items or adjusting a thermostat. I mean, it can really be anything. Nice. I mean, it's a, it's a really clean solution for something that at the end of the day is so powerful. Was there a moment when you first realized the impact that Be My Eyes was having? Like when it really hit you that, that this service was changing people's day-to-day -day lives? Yeah, I would say there have been like several of mm -hmm. these moments, but a more recent one was a, a dad mm -hmm. uh, writing us that for the first time ever, he was able to read picture books for his kids and be like, uh, probably uh, interact with them. Mm -hmm. uh, he was using the uh, Raven Meta glasses okay. uh, to call out a volunteer and instruct the volunteer to uh, interpret the pictures in the picture book so that he could relay that to his kids mm -hmm. and therefore be like, uh, probably engaged with them. Uh, I think that really hit me because I'm a dad myself and I also do read picture books for my kids and it was just something I've taken like totally for granted until hearing his story mm -hmm. uh, and it really tells me that it's not just software that we are making, it's uh, really something with huge social impact mm -hmm. uh, and something that motivates me and the rest of the Be My Eyes team every day. Sweet. I love that. I mean your work connects people in such a human way. You've probably had one or two of these experiences by now, but is there a story or an experience that made you think like, this is it, this is why we do this? Yeah, again, there, there have been like multiple. <laughs> Another example is, uh, for instance, like reading a pregnancy test has mm -hmm. usually been something that required you to involve uh, maybe people you know uh, right. already. Uh, instead of having to, instead of sharing that at the right moment that you feel comfortable doing, so yeah. with Be My Eyes, uh, there, there are stories where uh, women would call a volunteer and mm -hmm. have them uh, check the test, and then they can share it whenever they want to, and, and therefore be more independent, so to say. Fantastic. That's beautifully said. That's a great, that's, I mean, that's a great use for something that, uh, that is so powerful. So thank you, Andre. Thank you. I mean, what you're, what you're building is a, it's an inspiring reminder that the same features that bring the fun can also bring life-changing support. Yeah. All right. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, so now, let's step outside to Oakley Meta Park, where my co-host Dilmer has more to share. <laughs> 